Well, we just got this interior all put back together recently and put back together much better than it has ever been before. Like I fixed a lot of little like loose things, like little issues that I've had um, over the last couple years or whatever. And um, yeah, dude, it's time to tear it all out again. <sighs> Man, what's up guys today's video is all about this little box right here This came in from hush performance and I'm sure you guys can guess what exactly is inside of here I've clearly already opened it. I couldn't help myself dude. I was excited <laughs> All right, so this is a cable to hydro conversion. Uh, this is made by hush performance This is their version 3 kit uh, basically their latest version and as well as it has the billet reservoir uh, upgrade so uh, super shout out to Robert over at Hush Performance for sending me that out, dude. I appreciate it, man. So um, this, I am hoping, is going to solve our problem. With my pedal assembly flexing because, um, like you guys know, whenever we were working on the Project EF out here, we used this same exact kit on his car. So whenever we were installing it on his car, I had mentioned, like, what is the whole point of this damn little extra brace right here? I think that that is just... Ridiculous because mine don't have it, right? Wrong! Well, that is the reason why my whole pedal assembly is flexing is because I don't have that. So I knew immediately that I needed to upgrade what's in my car to the Hush Performance Kit, dude, because he actually went the extra mile and it does have this extra brace to stop your pedal assembly from flexing. Also comes with the Wheelwood Master. So this is gonna be a much needed upgrade for Khaki uh, because currently Khaki has that clever this style where the re where the master actually hooks up to the pedal so if you get down here to the clutch pedal you see how much play this thing has all of that is before it even starts to engage the master cylinder bro so the hush performance kit actually has a wheelwood master and it has this upgraded push rod so this is actually a spherical bearing that doesn't have all that play that the clevis has. So this is gonna actually drill and bolt into the pedal assembly. So then we'll be able to get rid of all that damn play, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I am super freaking stoked for this damn kit. I can't wait to get it on and see the improvement of how Khaki feels uh, with this kit. So um, enough talking about it, bro. Let's just get to it. <laughs> Means we gotta tear the damn dash out all over again. I'm really not looking forward to this. I ain't gonna lie, this is worse, way worse than what I thought, man. And it definitely got worse since the last time I had the dash off. Watch this. That's me pulling on the back of the clutch pedal. See what it's doing? See a freaking dance in there? All right, now I'm gonna push on the clutch pedal. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Dude, that moves so freaking much. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Watch. It's all the way up and then all the way down. exactly why you want to run a hush performance kit bro i'm definitely excited to get this done now holy shit so i'm gonna get that old pedal assembly out of there well the pedal assembly with the old bracket um i'm hoping that the pedal assembly itself isn't like cracked so i've heard some horror stories that the pedal assembly itself cracks hopefully that's not the case dude because i would have to try to either get it welded or find another pedal assembly tonight because <sighs> track events tomorrow
yeah, this thing is freaking dope, bro. Suck the system completely freaking dry, man. That's what's up. Yeah, so now I can disconnect the damn lines without worrying about them leaking all over the freaking place, man. I can't stand brake fluid. All right, so here is the old cable to hydro conversion and I just got it all clamped up here on the bench um, I try to clamp it down good and tight to where this thing doesn't move You know what I'm saying just to kind of replicate it being bolted up in the car so that I can see How exactly this thing flexes dude? Like so I can maybe see if I can like identify the problem by any chance, but dude it just it I don't I don't see anything cracked the thing moves a lot bro and I am noticing like it's not triangulated at all like it's bolted there and it's bolted there to a point to where it can kind of like move you know what I'm saying so the hush performance kit for instance you see uh, in relation it would be sitting like this if it was to be bolted up to the pedal assembly so if you look it's got a place to bolt it up right here, and it's got a place to bolt it up right here. It's the exact same places that this piece bolts up. So it bolts up to the pivoting point on the clutch right here, and then the uh, pivoting point right here on the brake pedal. So uh, it bolts up in the same exact places as this kit does, but one thing that I notice is you see how this has a gusset right here to prevent uh, this piece of metal from actually flexing the way that this one is right now if you look at it up underneath there It is just a straight 90 bro like it goes straight and then it 90s straight down It has no gusset though. There is plenty of room. They could have put a gusset um, Really like if this kit if somebody were to weld a gusset in there and then obviously add on the bracket on the top it probably would suffice but you know hush performance has been doing this for a while and this is, they've done multiple versions and they have perfected it more and more every time so i just want to run their kit dude so just to recap it bolts up to the same places that this one does this one has a gusset in which that one doesn't but if you look at this at hush performance kit compared to the one i have on my car um you notice where this thing is flexing, how it's pulling down like that? The area that is getting the most movement is right here at the top. That is exactly where they have the bracket. So this piece is gonna slide up and it actually bolts to the chassis, bro. This is where we're gonna drill two holes and then this bolts to the chassis. So this corner of the bracket, the part that flexes, that's causing all the problem, is where he has the reinforcement. So yeah, dude, this is gonna solve it all, man. I am definitely stoked for this Hush Performance Kit. This thing don't wanna come off, bro. It's gonna end up messing my threads up, man. I think it's tweaked. What the hell? Yeah, you can see how that bottom little piece right there that bolted up that thing is slightly bent that way and it looks like this piece is twisted like in this direction like it's supposed to be straight it looks like it's twisted like this so it was tweaking like sean jesus lord all right deja vu bro we've been here before so you guys see that hole right there on this bracket and that hole right there it is going to go on to that stud and onto that stud so it's as simple as that man and it literally just they literally just slide right onto these two studs though so my pedal assembly is a little bit tweaked in comparison to the last one that we worked on but i think it's still gonna work i think we're gonna work out put our 14 millimeter nut back on right there and that is the center point like the pivoting point for the brake pedal and then we'll put our 14 millimeter nut back on right here, which is also the pivoting point for the clutch pedal. So those are the two main attachment points. So once we get those things tightened up, 
If you guys notice this bracket right here on the side that comes down to the clutch pedal, it has these two bolts going through it. It's because the bracket itself and that attachment point, those are two separate pieces that bolt together. Uh, reason being is because of how old these pedal assemblies are. Some of them, like mine, is tweaked. So, like if this was one piece, what might fit one pedal assembly might not fit the other pedal assembly, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Hush Performance actually made it to where this one, if you loosen these bolts, the bracket itself, the holes are on a slide. So you can slide it up and down slightly, obviously to vary for how tweaked out your uh, pedal assembly potentially could be, you know what I'm saying? So once we, we're gonna get this 14 tightened up and that 14 tightened up and we need to remember to tighten these two. And you know what? I'm even gonna go as far as to put red Loctite on this shit, dude, because I am tired of having this problem. I don't want it to come loose on me. Dude, I can already tell, dude. I can already tell. I can't even move this thing. <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. All right, so you guys more than likely won't have to deal with this, but since being my pedal assembly has already been altered. So do you see right here, they actually have a, they actually have a washer welded on right there where it used to be like a hook. Um, they welded that washer on there so they could put this pin through because this master actually had like the clevis style So it had to have a pin to go through um, And they put that washer on there so they had something to grab now the new master has that spherical bearing uh, This actually bolts to the pedal so we have to put the master in there and then you basically line this up to where it's in the center of this mass like you want it to be in the center of this mass. We're gonna mark it and we have to drill a hole right here. So then there's a bolt that goes through and this master actually bolts directly to the pedal instead of having to deal with this clevis style. Um, so yeah, I need to take a grinder and knock the welds off of that damn washer right there and get it out of the way because uh, it's gonna be kind of in the way of drilling a hole and putting a bolt in right there. There she is. Really? Dead ass battery, huh? So when I ordered my kit from Hush Performance, I told myself, you know what? I'm not doing a cable to hydro conversion on my car. I am simply upgrading my cable to hydro conversion, right? Um, so as far as the hydraulic line, I've already got the line running, you know what I'm saying? So why, why purchase the kit with the lines? Because he does have it as an option, you can get it without. So here is the line from my car, and as you can see uh, on both ends here, I have these 90s, and this actually screws on to, um, it screws on to my old master here. In which, if you look at the upgraded master, the Willwood one from Hush, it takes it takes a banjo bolt. Damn it, man! So yeah, I had to run to the Parker store this morning and go and grab a new line. <laughs> so I should have just ordered the damn lines. Dang it! But anyhow, yeah, I ended up getting the same line. Um, I had them add a couple inches just in case because 
uh, where the location is on this master as versus the line now has to go to the front of the master. Um, I, I figured if the line was a little bit longer, it wouldn't hurt anything, but if it ended up being too short, that would have sucked. So um, yeah, that problem is solved. So just something to, to keep in mind if you're ordering a kit, you know what I'm saying? If you guys already have a line, you wanna make sure that the line is the, is the correct kind that you need, so. I should have just ordered the line from from Hush because Jesus Christ, man. Shut the fuck up, Phoenix. <laughs> My neighborhood, bro, it's always wild. Yeah, I got the damn master all bolted up and lined up. So we are good to go now, dude. I'm gonna wait for the ice cream man to pass because it's obnoxiously loud inside of my garage. <sighs> Uh, with the old pedal assembly, like you're able to move the pedal like this much without it even engaging the old master cylinder. But uh, with this upgrade, like look, you barely touch this and that master moves. Like, as soon as you touch that pedal, bro, you're getting movement out of that master. Hell yeah. All right guys, nothing left to do but to get the thing bolted up. And once we get it bolted up is when we'll put the bracket in there and we have to drill holes um, in which there's bolts that go inside of here. That's why I have that cowl piece taken off. So this is the main piece right here. The main reason why I wanted this kit, bro. Hell yeah. The pedal assembly is all bolted back up inside of the car. Um, and this is our little bracket that's going to help brace it. So it doesn't do that moving and flexing shit. So basically you see right there in the bracket on the, the actual conversion bracket, this piece bolts up right there to those slide holes so basically whenever you put the bolts in this thing will slide up and down so we're going to put the bolts in slide it up to where it meets the metal in the top right there um, and then i gotta mark it with a sharpie and then i'll pull this thing back off out of the way so then i can run a drill bit through the place where we marked it at and put some holes right there so that we can actually bolt this thing up have I said that I'm excited about this yet? <laughs> it's not the funnest place to drill some holes at, but worth it. Fucking worth it. All right, moment of truth, man. We have everything in. It's bled. It's full. It, it, it's ready to go, bro. Everything's done, basically, other than um, I need to put the dash back in. You know, the fun part. But All right, you guys remember how much this thing was flexing before, right? <laughs> Hell freaking yeah, boy! Dude, I'm fucking stoked, man. Now, there is a little bit of flex. I did notice it does move a little bit. But as you can see, it, it's nothing compared to what it moved before. And because of that little bracket that we have bolted up there, it will not let it move any more than what it is. So, the clutch pedal, I can already tell, has a lot more throw than what it did before. Um, and I was showing Braven, we just had the car on. Um, fuck, you probably won't be able to hear me once the car's on. Um, with the pedal, with my old kit, the pedal all the way to the floor, as soon as you come up off the floorboard, like, just ever so much, just a little bit, the clutch would start engaging. So the car would start moving forward, right? Um, now, watch. Yeah, so now it's right around halfway um, in, in the throw of the pedal, you know what I'm saying? So, um, much better place. So now, I'm sure we could probably run into the problem of actually overthrowing the pressure plate. I think that this has been a problem with the car for a really long time, you know what I'm saying? So, so now we need to look into putting in a, some, some kind of bump stop for the clutch pedal. So, all of that movement that's after the clutch engagement, um, we need to lose all that movement. Put in a bump stop to where the pedal doesn't do all that traveling. You know what I'm saying? So I can just fucking slam the pedal down and yeah, shift as fast as I possibly can. Why are you looking at me like that? Why? Why? Well, before it was. That's what it was like before. 
Whatever, you're just a hater. All right guys, got the car all 100% put back together. I made the mistake of thinking that the track day was actually this Friday. It's not until, well, it was last week, but our next one's not until the 23rd. So we will be out at Wild Horse Pass on the 23rd, uh, hopefully putting down a decent pass now. <laughs> Struggling with that damn old bracket, man. That, this thing was an absolute nightmare. So I can most certainly Highly recommend grabbing a Hush Performance Kit if you guys are doing a cable to hydro conversion. Down in the description, I'll have all the information, but he's also giving you guys 10% off. There's a coupon code down there, promotion code. Uh, so basically, I, I'm pretty sure that's on the entire website. You know what I'm saying? So go check out his website. He's got a lot of like one-off EF and DA type stuff, man. So a lot of cool shit. I did take the car around the block. It does feel a lot better. I'm sorry I'm just out of time today, um, but Braven and I will go and do some test passes or something, find a street out here somewhere in Mexico, and just give you an impression of how I feel about the before and after, you know what I'm saying? But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, remember, all the information is in the, in the description down below. There's a link if you guys want to get uh, anything from Hush Performance. He's giving you guys 10% off. So huge shout out to Hush for that. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.